Somebody call the doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at 2002's Black Hawk Down. This is the extended edition done by Ridley Scott. It's got our favorite Hans Zimmer in it and <laughs> more Hollywood stars than just about any movie that's come out in the last 20 years. You got Josh Hartnick, Tom Hardy, my man Ewan McGregor, tons of other guys. Uh, so this should be a good one. This is a first time watch for me. So I'm excited to check it out. Uh, first time watch for me as well. I don't really know what this is about, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to give this a watch. Yeah, you know, when this came out, there was so much going on in, in real life around this sort of subject matter. So um, for as much as I like seeing you know, military and war movies. This is one I kind of just stayed away from when it came out and never got back around to seeing. So first time watch for me, but I've heard great things about it. Definitely gonna echo the answer. I have not seen, you guys seen anything about uh, with our Hacksaw Ridge? I don't, I haven't seen really any war movies. A 16, 17 year old Diamond Dave was all about driving his little Ford Ranger at that time. So definitely first time watch for me. No idea what this is about, probably should, but I don't. With that being said, let's go! Like so yeah, so many. they say they say based yeah. on an actual event. Um, I've seen a, a, few, a few different podcasts where people have talked a little bit about this, and there's like any other adaptation mm -hmm. of an actual event. There's some. Yeah cinematic liberties and and accuracies yeah. as well yeah and there was you know so many of these movies came out around this time frame i was just you know all i ever heard about was you know this type of stuff in the middle east and everything and i was just not interested in in the movies at all yeah you know i think i've been more involved in in world war ii movies just because there's a also a, a more of a historical yeah. sense i guess You know, when we were younger in the 80s, it was, you know, it was Ethiopia mm -hmm. that we, you know, heard about so often in the news about starvation issues. But then as we moved into the 90s, um, not to say that it wasn't still an issue or remains an issue in certain parts there, but it really, the focus then became on Somalia. Mm -hmm. Jesus, this is going to be hard to watch. Yeah, I mean, so like 1990 was Operation Desert Shield. That's when that started. Yeah. Here! Technical's nine o'clock! Oh my. Oh, Holy crap. Oh shit! I got it, Matt. I don't think we can touch this. Command Super 6 4, we got militias shooting unarmed civilians down at the food distribution center. Request permission to engage. UN's jurisdiction 64, we cannot intervene. Return to base. Over. Roger. 64 returning. <laughs> well, that was a hot Ugh, start. Imagine having to watch stuff like that. Nothing you can do about it. Helpless. Is that Eric Bannon? Right yeah. yeah. Was it one of the dudes in the helicopter that we just saw? No, Josh Hartnett. No, well, no, no. Josh, from uh, Second Hulk. Kindergarten Cop. Oh, yeah. You know what? I thought that was him. Yeah. I thought that was Crispin from Crisp from Kindergarten Cop. Was it was? I thought that was just it's me. Long hair. Yeah, I don't want to be like hey, is that the guy from Kindergarten Cop, but. Hachi. Doesn't seem too bothered by it. What so that? That actor that knocked on the window was in the first Fast and Furious. Oh, Johnny Strong? General Garrison? No, no, thanks, Garland. Miami, my friend, is not Cuba. See, not catching a deed is becoming a routine. We weren't trying to catch a deed, we were trying to catch you. Me? <laughs> but am I that important? Selling guns to a deed's militia. Six weeks you are trying to catch the general. $25,000. What is this? Gunfight at the Cayo Corral. Do you think bringing me in would make him suddenly come to you? You know where he sleeps. We're not leaving Somalia until we find him. And we will find him. Don't make the mistake of thinking because I grew up without running water, I am simple, General. I do know something about history. See all this? 
It's simply shipping tomorrow. I think you shouldn't have come here. This is our war. 300,000 dead and counting. That's not a war, Mr. Ito. That's genocide. It can take some time, but I need to feel the loss. I'm not sure time is something we got in great supply. This isn't Iraq, you know. Boss, most of Washington might disagree. I'm just saying they've been calling for these dang situation reports every morning this week. Tell them the situation is uh, fragile. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cliff Elvis Walcott. I'll be your pilot this afternoon. Is that Piven? Yeah, 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 and as always, here's. Do you recognize the other guy? He was the banker from Dark Knight. Yeah. I was just going to say, yep. Yeah. Uh, I just always know him from uh, the Longest Yard. Oh, I thought maybe, thought maybe the... He was in he's, Armageddon. Yeah, Armageddon. The, uh, yeah, Armageddon. Yeah, he's, he was he's, in uh, Entourage for yeah. a little bit, too. Limo was a word, Duran. I don't want to hear about it. No, if it's not in the dictionary, it doesn't count. It does have to be in the dictionary. Blue. Listen, when we get back to the base, it's coming off the board. You touch my limo and I'll spank you, Night Stalker. You hear me? Let's... Uh, hear that? Nervous? Ready to go, man. Beautiful day to fight. Name? Todd. Last name? Blackburn. Hey, Todd. there's my guy. Serial number? 721-63427. You're not a ranger? I am a ranger. Six years. I was in Panama chasing down Noriega and in the Gulf. I'm a vet, my friend. In combat. You look like you're about 12. <laughs> I have a rare and mysterious skill that precludes me from going on the missions. Typing. New type? Date of birth? 22775. Mm. It's so weird hearing Ewan McGregor's American accent. Yeah. Let's bring it in and fly the plane. Blast, man, very smooth. Single shot through the engine block. Is that Lannister? I don't, that's Eric Banna. No, the guy that was talking to Vanna. Oh, it could be. Like I said, there's so many stars in this. It's ridiculous. Do you recognize him? Is that Tig? Mm hmm When I was checking to make sure Hans Zimmer was the composer, Which I just saw awesome. some of the cast. Well, that's ballsy. Hey, oh, that is Tig. Oh, that's yeah. kidding. Private First Class Blackburn. Yeah? Reporting for duty. Not to me, you're not. You're reporting to Lieutenant Beals. He should be around here somewhere. Cross your weapon. Yes, sir. When'd you get in? Just now, Sergeant. This will be your best friend in all of Africa. Get someone over here, all right? Let's get you unpacked. What is this, Orn? Another taxpayer funded Delta Safari? That of General Garrison's ass. <laughs> oh, I'm in. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, he's in Potter. That's Mouth. That's Mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on here? Oh, just some aerial target practice, sir. Didn't want to leave it behind. Talking about your weapon. Delta or no Delta, that's a hot weapon. Safety should be on at all times on base. Well, that's my safety, sir. Let it go, sir. The guy hasn't eaten in a couple of days. We get on the five-yard line. You're gonna need my rangers. So you all better learn to be team players. We're done here. Having a little uh, pork yeah. for dinner. Man, you weren't kidding. This, <laughs> this is just a heck of a roster. Take those sunglasses off, soldier. I don't want to see them on you again, huh? <laughs> 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 that is yeah, Lance Lannister. Lannister. Oh, yeah. like you move. Jesus. <laughs> my hand on the piece. Keep my eye on that queen for counseling with others. Grizz. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Holy Jesus. It's a children's book, right? Right. They are not supposed to scare the living shit out of <laughs> children. <laughs> this part of the story where our knight, our warrior, is about to slay the one-eyed dragon is scary. Besides, my daughter loves this stuff. We are at the 10-yard line here, man. Where are my running backs? Hey, uh oh, oh boy! I didn't see you in church on Sunday, soldier. I will make uh -oh. you believe. You understand? <laughs> <sighs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, good impression. I recognize myself. <laughs> Quick word, specialist. Wow. So, tell <laughs> you understand all that <laughs> chain of command, don't you? If I ever see you undermining again, you'll be cleaning the trains of your tongue till you can't taste the difference between shit and french fries. We'll be clear. Who is, sir? All right. <laughs> you gotta let off easy. Yeah. Hey, hey he friggin' Reed Richards. Richards. <laughs> His clan was the dead guy's clan, a hundred camels. Must be a lot of fucking camel debt. See what you guys really realize is the sergeant here is a bit of an idealist. He believes in his mission down to his very bones, don't you, Sergeant? 
Look, these people, they have no jobs, no food, no education. We, we have two things that we can do. We can either help or we can sit back and watch country destroy itself on CNN. Nice. <laughs> the jerk jerk. Uh oh. 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 Bill! Oh, no. No, no, no. Stay back. Stay back. Wilkie, he's, he's having a seizure. It's okay. Damn. Mm. Well, you'll be fine. He's out of the game. He's epileptic going home. I'm putting you in charge of his chalk. You men are going to look to you to make the right decisions. Their lives depend on them. Rangers lead the way, sir. All the way. That's just so weird hearing him deliver like that mm -hmm. compared to Potter. Oh, yeah. Or if this guy's undercover or something like that. The meeting of a deed senior cabinet may take place today at 1500 hours. This is actual intel confirmed by three sources Omar Salad, Adid's top political advisor, and Abdi Hassan Awali, interior minister. These are the guys we're after. Today we go. 1545 Assault Force Delta will infiltrate the target building and seize all suspects with him. Security Force Rangers, four Ranger Chalks, under the command of Captain Steele, will rope in at 1546 and hold a four-corner perimeter around the target building. Lieutenant Colonel McKnight's Humvee column will drive into the city at 1547 on Howardig Road and hold just short of the Olympic Hotel here, wait for the green light. McKnight's column will move to the target building and load the prisoners on flatbed trucks. Immediately after, the prisoners are loaded. Four Ranger chalks will collapse back to the target building, load up on Humvees, and the entire ground force will exfil three miles back to base. Mission time from incursion to extraction no longer than 30 minutes. I had requested light armor and AC-130 Spectre gunships, but Washington, in all its wisdom, decided against this. Mm. No backup. Mission launch code word is Irene. Which building is it, sir? Exactly. Which building we're confirming right now? Somewhere around the Bacara Market. I don't choose the time and place of their meetings. Once you're in the Bacara Market, you're in an entirely hostile district. So remember the rules of engagement. No one fires unless fired upon. Good luck, gentlemen. Those Spectre gunships, daylight instead of night. Late afternoon, they're all fucked up on cot. Only part of the city of D come out a serious counterattack on short notice. What's well, not the like? The like it's imperfect. Yeah. For you two, circling above it at 500 feet, it's imperfect. Not on the street. It's unforgiving. Man, God. This, <clears throat> this ease, this like ease of pace before it gets. If you just oh, know it's going to be He's intense. marking the top of mm -hmm. a vehicle. Yep. We going? Three o'clock. Downtown. I need you to back me up out there today, all right? Keep sharp. Yes, sir, Sergeant Eversman. It's interesting seeing the chain of command work its way through this whole mission as we're building up to it. Mm hmm I don't even remember. Oh, jeez. I think they just goofing off. Ah! You're not going anywhere. It's all on the grind, Sizemore. This, my friend, is a science. I mean, you're looking at the guy that believed the commercials, you know, about be all you can be. I made coffee through Panama while everyone else got to fight, got to be a ranger. So guess what? Your wish has been granted. You're going out today. You're fucking me. Oh, oh. You're taking my place, Assistant 60 Gunner. Sergeant Eversman said to get your stuff and get ready. Hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't sound very confident on no, that last no. one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just watch oh. out for the Sammy Stone the fucking rocks and you'll be fine. Hey, he was in the rock. This is serious. We're Rangers. Not some sorry ass JROTC. Let's act like it out there. Whoa. 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 All right, grab your gear. Let's move out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. It's definitely a departure from Hans Zimmer's normal musical styles. Yeah, you're not going to need that either. Tom Hardy? You might as well take dope were talking and about beer instead. Else. Oh, God, look how young he is. Oh, he's so oh. young. Don't need another 12. I don't know about you, but I'm not planning on getting shot in the back running away. Well, I better keep mine in. Just remember when everybody else is shooting, shoot in the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> Grimes. I'm not taking on death letter. I have a deal. Get you back in an hour. I've been training my whole life. It's... You ever shot at anybody before? No, sir. Me neither. All right. All right, here we go. So I wonder if that dude's 
working with the Rangers, and he's supposed to lead him in. I mean, show, well, show we're, we're assuming so since overhead. he marked his car. Right. Problem is, is if the uh, if the warlord had people on rooftops that if might. they see it, yeah. It's first time out. Stephanie and Randy. Just call them to check up on you and make sure everything's all right. You better not be sleeping. Your move, Randy. She's just going to miss it. Hello? Hello? Yep, just missed it. I have a bad feeling about that one. You don't think we should be here? You know what I think? It don't really matter what I think. Once that first bullet goes past your head, politics and all that shit, just goes right out the window. Just watch your corner. Get all your men back here alive. It's, in it's interesting too how they're getting the perspective of a lot of people on how they handle mm -hmm. the how they handle before going out. Yeah. <clears throat> now, is this supposed to be the place, or did his car just take a dump? Andy, come in. To my right hand side, above the cafe. Still on the road, two blocks over on my left. Now he's saying the building's actually a couple blocks down, but if he's seen outside it, he'll be shot. Tell him I want his skinny ass parked in front of the damn building. It's three miles to the target area. We're never off the main road. At the K4 traffic circle, we turn north and east on National, and we wait until extraction of prisoners is complete here. Then we roll up in force on Hall Wattage. We load the prisoners and then the assault blocking forces to bring them back. Home in an hour, okay? I will say Ridley Scott's doing a good job of getting us like right in there where you kind of feel like you're there. Yeah, he's doing an amazing job. He sounds scared shitless. Good. That's always a good sign. That's it. That's our signal. All units, Irene. I say again, Irene. Fucking Irene! <laughs> Man, they were still using those old, like, Vietnam-era little Hueys. Did you see that? I, I didn't know they were, those were still in service. Jimmy? Oh, they're going to hit us with the Hollywood Hogan. Good luck, boys. Jimmy. Oh, oh it's Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray Vaughan, yeah. Hot damn. Well, you know what that calls for. Mm. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Oh, they're making yeah. giant road. Yeah. Cars. So they only had one way in, I think, on the mission map. They were going to come straight in through they're, into well, the market. Come through, yeah, one way, but they're going to come through friendlies. Yeah. Why are they burning time? to the militia that we're coming! It's 342. Yeah. He did say one hour. <laughs> right into it. Captain Steele, tell your men to stop firing at us. Two sexes, six, six oh, four. Cease fire, Charles Free, or fire in a Delta. I repeat, cease fire. Over. Oh, they're shooting at us. We'll shoot back. <laughs> Size more. Rules of engagement. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, sad, they. Go, Blackbird. Oh, oh, wow. Oh uh -oh. no. Spawn, you're a sitting duck there. Hey, hey, go ahead. Stop! Stop! Man. Come on! He's not! He fell! What? He fell! Why aren't you shooting? We're not being shot at yet! <laughs> no, they're shooting at <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Give me Captain Steel! Give me Captain Steel! Blackburn, can you hear me? Julian 6 4, this is Chuck 4! We got a man down. Take a breath, two five, and calm down. Over. Man down. Mr. Last two five, say here. Man, it's a long way to the Humvees. Yeah, we'll get a stretcher in here. Come on, come on. Grab this end. 
Get him to the Humvees. We'll hold down the corner. What an unfortunate event before they even get started with where they're sectioned at. Yeah, it changes everything. Sure. Let's move down. Team two, this is Super Six One, beginning my orbit of the target area. Kilo One One, this is Six One, providing sniper cover for prisoner extract. That's it. We got him. Roger that. There's the call. Let's pull down. For a second, I thought that ricochet got him. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> got him. Well, that's what's, you know, gives you so much anxiety because, you know. The enemy could be hiding anywhere. Look at all the spots to, to be. How much longer? Five minutes. Five minutes. Another thing, five minutes. Has no hearing in that side. Pump, pump. Come on. Get him. Get him up. Come on. Oh. Fuck Oh, oh just wow. dumping ammo. Fuck. Oh, the shell. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's landing on him. Romeo 6 4. I need to send out three Humvees with a critical casualty. Roger that, Uniform 6 4. We'll chop a team of gunships to you. Over. Roger that. Hey, Sam. I need extra security on these Humvees. Oh, God. I'll take my team, make sure they get back okay. Do it. Go out. Go out. Go out. Oh! Oh! oh. Dr. Doc to me! Sergeant Pilla! What is this? What's his status? He's dead! Oh, look up the top. This isn't good. Oh. oh. I'm in. Super 6 1 is hit. He is hit. Walcott's bird is hit. Hey, Bull, you want to pull those three tails up, final one? 6 1 going down. 6 1 is going down. God, your heart just has to be going like 300 miles an hour. We got a Black Hawk down. Get an MH6 on site, check for survivors. Send in the SAR bird. I want ground forces to move and secure a new perimeter around that crash site. That's a long way. That was quite the distance of that camera of picking up and moving to another spot. He just lost the initiative. 6-4, I can't see the crash site. Over. Please secure the element. Please take a rest of chalk on foot to the crack. Check for survivors. Secure the area. All of the chalks will follow. Over. 2-5, you read me. Over. This is Black Hawk down. Bobby Nelson, you're going to stay here. You're going to hold this corner. In the next bill with the Humvees. How come I got to stay back here? Because they're dependable. Oh, man. Oh. Parallel west your position. Oh, oh my God. Over. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. No. We still got guys inside. All right, all right. I'm going to go to the crash. You take the rest of the team. I'll finish loading the prisoners. Negative. We're going to proceed to the crash site together. I'll finish loading the prisoners to pick you up at the crash site. All right. Roger. Let's move out. <laughs> Man, see, that's what I'm saying. They can just pop out of anywhere in a city like that. Hey, Christ. Stay away from the walls. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, these are getting close. Ooh, That's a ooh. second one that went by him. Yeah. Hey, run! You okay? Yeah! Maddox, look at these chips. These idiots! I think they've forgotten us! What? <laughs> Don't let us! Gonna leave Tom Hardy behind? Uh oh. That's not good. He said all the. How far is Chalk 4 from the crash site? Six blocks, sir. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he's taking fire. 
Ooh. Oh! No, don't go back! Oh, he got lucky going back for it. Looks like a city. Oh, oh, oh. oh. because he slipped. Dead? Is that what that was? Kind of, yeah. Kind of looked like that. Romeo 6 floor, I need to know before I get to the goddamn freak! There's a delay from the time directions are relayed from surveillance to JOC, then to me. Over. We can't slow down, we're thinking of the enemy fire! Danny, hold on. I no longer have the best view of your route. ETA base momentarily. <laughs> I mean, do they load up and go back yeah. out? I think you almost have to. Yeah. But look, I'm... I don't know anything. I'm just wondering why they wouldn't have taken some of these guys and, and sent them out or... Yeah, once they saw what was going down. Yeah. Again, apologies. I know nothing about military strategy, so... Yeah. yeah. Or how any of this yeah. this works. Well, I mean, so. th they were denied because they wanted to have more uh, aerial support. More aerial. Washington denied it, so they probably didn't give them more troops either. Oh. Man. And this dog. Oh, man, this dude. Galantine, you all right? Galantine, crew with me! Man, that little Huey out there is just a sitting duck. Two pilots are dead. Two crew chiefs were wounded. When they showed that shot originally, I thought they were just kind of giving us a quick view oh, of the characters. Just but... said it was maybe knocked out or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Peter Marshall, take the southeast corner. We're setting up a perimeter. Over. This is 2-6, roger that. Move in there now. Move out! Oh. Ugh. Get the 50 up! You should see the crash directly ahead. All I see is the roadblock! All right, I'll have to figure out another way. Jesus. Man. Oh. Oh, was oh. That, that was Tig, wasn't it? Oh, he didn't even know. Oh, my Ooh. God. Tell my girls. Are you okay? Man. Mm. Oh. It, it took his armor out. Yeah. Yeah, he took his plate out of the back. Keep going straight 200 meters. Let's go! Let's go, Let's go! These two guys are still here. They gotta be running out of ammo. Yeah. Homies ain't coming back, dude. Were we supposed to go to them? I thought they were supposed to come to us. I think we were supposed to go to them. Shh. Didn't he say they were gonna circle back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, yeah. Just don't fire that thing so close to my head. I can barely hear as it is. Oh. These guys got a long way to go on foot. Shit, get out! Now by his head. Oh, <laughs> oh by his head. Tell you! I swear to God, get you ah! You all right? What? <sighs> oh, boy. C2, this is 6A. We've been hit. Art, I've got skinnies with RPGs. Oh, man. Better go fast. 
Shiloh. Super 6-8 is out. Wilkie, what's the situation in there? Both pilots are dead. Is that Ty Burrell? Yeah, looks like it. Stabilize in the burn. Yeah. Repeat, stabilize in here, over. Super 6-4, come inbound and take Walcott's position. Roger. Oh, that didn't sound confident. Mm. And again, they thought this whole thing would only take 30 minutes. Half oh, oh, an hour. That hour. An hour. That was, hour yeah, that was they the plan. Well, they haven't shown us the time yet. As to, oh. Oh, We're good. You sure? You look like you got clipped pretty good. These screw paddles are okay. No, we're good. Got a slight vibration in the paddles, but we're good. Oh, it's got a wobble. Hey, check the systems again. That rotor's coming off. I want them out of here. All of them. They talking about another hawk? Get this deal. We got a mover. We're going to get pinned down. You let me do my job and you do yours. Power. Ah. Yeah. Fuck this. Cap steel. I'll take out the thread of the window. The rally pointing to Gray Building. Coming through, Captain. Zorn. Right, let's go. Yeah, they knew they had to make a move. Out there doing nice jobs. Now we gotta get to that grass site. We gotta get out on that street and we gotta move. Ah! Don't you ever give me orders, Sergeant. We are combat and you understand me? Now give me some of your shooters and I'll circle this to the bird. Run! You with Jock Ford? Yes, sir! Alright, hook up with Captain. Rejoin with Sean Evansman. The rest of you men secure this position. C2, I have two Delta snipers, Shakar and Gordon, volunteering to secure crash site 2. Over. No, Super 62, negative that request. I can't risk another bird. A ground team is being organized to go in now. All right, Duran 64 is down. We're going back in to get him. That's crazy. Is there anyone alive on that? Doesn't matter. No one gets left behind. You know that. I'm wasting time here. Sizemore, where the hell do you think you're going? For you guys. Not with that cast on your nuts. All right, all right, all right. Talk to me. Everyone feels the same way you do, all right? It's what you do right now that makes a difference. It's your call. Uh, that level of uh, adrenaline, fear, anxiety, I mean, the emotions that those guys had to be yeah. feeling. The thing that impresses me is the level of communication. It's just very strict, straightforward orders, you know? You stayed behind. No, it's nope. going. God, even just the rest of the guys sitting there, whatever mm -hmm. your position may have been, just the feeling of just totally being helpless. helpless. Yeah, yeah, being completely helpless not to, to go in. What? Huh? You said something, what? Jeez, these what? guys, they're both oh, deaf. No. Oh. Move out! All right. Which way? That way, I think! So these two have to be like the, the little bit of levity in this movie. Uh, maybe. Nice donkey. Oh, they missed him. That's friendly fire. Oh, yeah. It's their own guys. Rangers! Oh! Sure it, fucking assholes! No, we almost fucking killed you! <laughs> God, where have we seen that dude from? I'm sorry, Sarge! Dude, where the fuck have you been? Hey, never mind, you put not, right? No, I didn't bring it. You want to know why? Because you said you're not going to need that, dude. We'll be back in a half hour. No, I wasn't saying it to you. Nah. Nelson, cover this way. What's mm -hmm. the matter with you? Huh? Well, he's deaf. He says it's my fault. We can't be far from the crash. Which way? I thought you might know. Oh, this guy's got nothing. Oh, my God. You know, and this is, this is the 90s, so it doesn't like to have, you know, satellite navigation in their pocket like, you know, like they do now. 
Ground forces have occupied several buildings along Marahan Road, but they're, they're all spread out. Eversman's Chalk 4 has set up a perimeter around Walcott's crash site. Captain Steele, about 40 men, Rangers, are here a couple blocks away. They're banged up pretty bad. Draw a fire when this asshole stops the reload! God, this music is intense. Mm. I got it! Oh, oh shit, no. no. Does he have like a magnet? That's like number three. Three or four. Three or four for that, yeah. You all right? I can hear a bell's ringing. <laughs> <sighs> that is so many people. General, crowds in the hundreds now. From where they are, they can see things clearer than any of us. This is Garrison. I want to make sure that y'all understand what you're asking for, so say it out loud and clear. We're asking to go in and set up a perimeter until ground support arrives. And you realize that I cannot tell you when that might be. It could take quite a while. Yes, sir. Well, Harold? Yes, General. It's your call. Go Fina. Put him in. All right, so they're going to get a little bit of support here anyway. Mm. God, they got so many arms. Oh, it's that for... Oh, oh man! Oh oh no. oh my! Oh, they're trapped. Yep. All right, get in there. Good, good. McKnight, we need you to turn around and head back to Hallwadig. There's gotta be a better route. That's the info I'm getting from JOC. You need to turn around and head back. Oh. Roger that. Roger that. Oh. Oh, God. got his face. Oh, shit. Got it in the back. Man, it's like Tom Sizemore's character right from the start. He knew this thing was screwed. I mean, the way he was acting in the briefing. Well, he basically said it after, yeah. just not directly. Shit. C2, Chenard and Gordon are on the deck. Over. God, it's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you. How bad? My limb's broken. My back feels kind of weird. Gotta get you out of here, buddy. <laughs> Pulling him out. Cover. You're locked and loaded. Any skitties come around these corners, you watch our backs. Hey, where's the rescue squad? We're it. We're right back where we started. I'm running low on ammo. I got many wounded, including me. Vehicles that are barely running. Okay, Danny, I need a no BS assessment here. Can you get to the crash site? Negative. With the amount of wounded we have, we do more harm than good. Bring them back. Get them out of there. We're going home. Let's go. There's our, mm -hmm. there's our time. 342 when they drop them. Yeah. They're sending them back. The convoy's headed back to base camp. Serve your ammo. Only shoot up what you can hit. We're gonna get home. I mean, I think a big part of that crowd is civilians. Mm -hmm. and yeah. You have militants kind of running through it. So yeah, you, you don't know what to do. Randy lost back! Oh. oh! Oh! Forty's calling, man. I'll be outside. Good luck. Jesus. <laughs> Look, we have stirred up the hornet's nest here. We're fighting the entire city. I want every vehicle possible. If it's got four wheels and armor, get it. Get everything. Now, once they've assembled, we're going to move our men out of the hostile area and back to the Pakistani stadium in the safe zone. All said, no, huh? Mm -hmm. But who knows how long that'll take. Ah! Yeah, he knew it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. No, no, no. Muhammad Para Aydin, I am in Canada. Kuruba. Man, this is unreal. Roadblock after roadblock. You have to find us another route. There ain't one. The only other route is all the way around the city. Roger that. 
Request permission to move to crash site number two on foot. Over. Green light. Kilo one one. Green Stop light. Stop the vehicle. Let me out. I don't know what you do. What? Don't you hear that? After I'm finished with this, I'll whip you boys up some margaritas. Blended, no salt. Mira, papa. Sanderson, do not. I say again, do not fire to the east. We are coming to you. Di Tommaso and his men are on the southeast corner. We need you on the northeast building. Hold your fire to the east. God, there's so many different stories going on at once. We got the chopper in sight. Where are you? We're on the southwest corner. Where the hell have you been? Are you OK? Hold your fire. We're coming in. Son, you're just gonna run first. Now, when he gets across the street, he's gonna turn around and he's gonna cover you as you run. When, listen closely. When you get there, you are gonna turn around and you're gonna cover me, okay? It's important you understand that. You even hear him? <laughs> this is what I'm worried yeah. about. Oh, well, he would have told, told him he couldn't hear him. Don't forget. Oh. You're coming up on the west gate. I see him. We got you. Nelson! Fuck! Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Oh, oh, my leg! My leg! No! Oh, God, no! I need more men in here! Oh, oh. Nelson! All right, let me get a look at that. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's that's the femoral. Anybody comes through that door, we give him two in the chest and one in the head. Still, I need a medevac in here now. Oh, Corporal Smith has been hit. Hold on, two five. Still in the fight. He doesn't get to the hospital in a half hour. He's in trouble. Seat two, this is six four. I'm requesting an immediate medevac for a critically wounded at Chaw Four's location. Over. Can't risk it. It's still too hot. She cannot risk another bird. You're just gonna have to hold on. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right. I got him. I want to go. I want to go. Come on. Crash site two secured. Sir, they're still debating the route. How long? At least a couple hours. <sighs> we haven't got that long, Joe. Pakistani general said since we didn't deem to inform him of the raid, it's gonna take some time to mobilize the 10th Mountain and 100 vehicles. It is imperative that we move them out of the hostile area and into the safe zone. Mikel Durant, you are the ranger who kills my people? I'm not a ranger, I'm a pilot. God, his face. Ugh. You all live long, dull, and interesting lives. You have taken hostages. We have you. The government will never negotiate for me. I'm not in charge. You have the power to kill, but not negotiate. In Somalia, killing is negotiation. Do you really think if you get General Adid, we will simply put down our weapons and adopt American democracy? That the killing will stop without victory? There can be no peace. There will always be killing, you see? Well, that was the mm. tough side of it. You take out one... You, right, you it doesn't one, matter. It's a whole one, movement. You take out one bad guy and somebody else steps in their place. I mean, that was the whole... Mike Durant, we won't leave you behind! It's the femoral artery, but I can't see it, which means that it's retracted up into the pelvis, which means that I have to find it and clamp it. I'm gonna need you to assist, okay? I gotta cause you more pain but I have to do it to help you. Orphan. It'll lower your heart rate too far, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. I got it, I got, got it. it, I got it, yeah. Yeah, yep. I got it clamped, I got, got it clamped. Yep, it's going, it's going hold back. It. It's hold it, hold it. Oh, okay, get out, get out. Okay. Hold the wound. Okay, okay, I'm holding. What? That was in one uh, shot. Yep. <sighs> Fix it. Yeah, yeah. We got him. 
It's all in the grind, Sergeant. Can't be too fine, can't be too coarse. Oh. How'd you like a nice hot cup of joe? Sit down. I'm gonna take a look at that foot. Where the hell did they find you? Behind a desk. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Oh, oh look at that artillery. Coming! Not bad. Oh. Wow. I gotta turn it around. Oh, oh God, I got him. This toad, I'm coming in with three friendlies. I need some cover and fire over. Nothing for the God, that was huge. Oof. Colonel Harrell. Ground personnel at crash site one will have to mark the target with infrared strobes in preparation for airstrike. So we're gonna send it in the airstrike Ignite. and these guys. Between Chance Mountain and UM, you got enough personnel, okay? You guys do not have to go back out again. <sighs> Tell that to the How wrong dude. How could they not? How could they not? Yes, right yeah. there, yeah. 1120. 342 to 1120. Yeah, so sweet. Oh, we're on. Going on eight. I'm sorry. You don't have anything to be sorry for. You okay, Jones? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, Jamie. Do me a favor. Can you tell my parents that I fought well today? That I fought hard? You're gonna tell them yourself, okay? Yeah. You can hold on for just a little bit. You can I do can. that. It's not. Nothing. It's not. Damn. Uh. What are you doing? We need the ammo. You did all you could here. I should have sent a medevac. Well, right now we'll be out there defending another crashed chopper. Sergeant, you can't control who gets hit or who doesn't. Who falls out of a chopper or why. It ain't up to you. It's just war. Smith's still dead. Blackburn wouldn't have fallen. None of this would have happened. Listen, should have or could have, it don't matter. We'll get plenty of time to think about all that later. Believe me, you got your men this far. You did it right today. I need to start thinking about getting these men out of here. Well, shall we? <laughs> this character, man. Yeah. He's definitely a guy that you need on the team for moments like this. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a two five. I can see you. You're right, Toby. I'll mark the target with the strobe. Over. Now I can't see shit. What? I'm putting it on the roof! You're gonna need some help! I got your position, I got the target. We're inbound hot. T2, this is Sex 4. Where the hell is the convoy? We're getting fucked here! Over. They're half a click from your location. Hang in there. Yeah, but half a click oh. in that city could take hours. All right, they're here. Get the wound and ready to move. move, move. Thought I heard a noise out here. Get your men loaded up. We're getting the hell out of here. Yes, sir. Prepare your men for expo, sir. Yeah, right through that, sir. Two o five. I heard you guys needed a lift. Yes, sir! We get the pilot's bodies out. Okay, then we go to the stadium. We're running out of room around here. Just gonna hit the Kremlin in every possible space. Our Rangers can provide rear security. We'll walk you out of the hot zone, then we'll jump on the last UV. Oh. Come on! Easy. Oh, easy. easy. Colonel, what is going on down there? They're dismantling the entire cockpit around the body. No one gets left behind. You understand me, son? You do what you have to do. Roger. I don't think he's talking about the cockpit. How much longer? 45 minutes. We don't have 45 minutes. Do you understand? Nope. Yeah. Oh. Go, go, go! Oh.
Open up the hatch! You got men back here! No room here! Go on the roof! What's going on? Sir! No! No, it's full! Hello, hello, hello. Move! 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 Oh, Jesus. No cover. Oh, no. What's that? Child killed in the crossfire. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing that they don't really show, mm -hmm. but the, the amount of action that was going on there, there's no way there wasn't casualties like that. They're all standing there watching mm -hmm. my tree. Yep. Oh, Mr. Juggler, by about three millimeters, don't move. Right through his Ooh. neck and his cheek. Don't let that man crawl. Somebody help that man. Grimes, you did good. Oh, he oh, he's made weak. it. Ooh, did you Ooh. see his leg? Oh, oh. I went in and out, so medic said I should be okay. We're going after him? You bet your ass we will. Don't go out without me. I could still do my job. A little short on coffee, but I got you some tea. <laughs> <laughs> you going back in? There's still men out there. When I go home, people ask me, hey, who? why do you do it, man? There's some kind of war junkie? I won't say a goddamn word. They won't understand. They won't understand why we do it. It's about the men next to you. And that's it. That's all it is. Don't even think about it, all right? I'm better on my own. We started a whole new week. It's Monday. I was talking to Blackburn the other day, and he asked me, you know, what changed? Why are we going home? And I said, nothing. I think everything's changed. I know I've changed. You know, a friend of mine asked me before I got here, why are you going to fight somebody else's war? What do you all think, you're heroes? I didn't know what to say at the time, but if you asked me again, I'd say no. I'd say there's no way in hell. Nobody asks to be a hero. I'm gonna talk to your mom and pop when I get home, okay? My love, you're strong and you will do well in life. I love you and my children deeply. Today and tomorrow, let each day grow and grow. Keep smiling and never give up, even when things get you down. So, in closing, my love, tonight, tuck my children in bed warmly. Tell them I love them. Then, hug them for me and give them both a kiss goodnight for daddy. Just wondering what happened to him. Mm hmm. Wow. Really, Scott does not miss. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. You know, we had kind of talked briefly in the beginning about, uh, you know, none of us had really seen a lot of the, the war movies from, I guess I'll call this generation for a lack of a better term. And, you know, for myself, you know, I've, you know, I've had known people who had been in Desert Shield and, you know, and the, the Gulf Wars and Afghanistan and things like that. I had known people who had been there and, you know, when you come home from work every day and you know for the better part of you know eight to ten to twelve years you know it's just like non-stop on the news this is what's happening these are the soldiers that were lost this is what's happening and and i'll be honest it just really burned me out on the whole thing and i just wasn't interested in watching you know any movies or any shows whether it was you know or hurt locker or uh jarhead or you know 12 strong or like any of those movies that came out i was just like i just wasn't you know I, 
knowing people and having seen this the stories nonstop, I just really it, it just didn't interest me. But that being said, it is important to watch movies like this. I think uh, very similar to Hacksaw Ridge. I think where it's a story that people should know. I think you could draw a lot of similarities between those two movies. Obviously, an immeasurable amount of bravery by you know by the soldiers dealing with was essentially a, a terrible hand that they were dealt. Still knowing that they had to go in and do that and it wasn't a, you know necessarily about the mission it's it was like josh hartnick's character said it was about the man next to you and, and taking care of him so uh you know all that out of the way uh an absolute powerhouse of a movie the the term all-star cast gets thrown around a lot i think and this movie absolutely without a shadow of a doubt has the biggest all-star cast of any movie that I can really think of. I mean, yes, there are like the, you know, the Avenger type movies and things like that where they bring in those characters. But in terms of like actors who just absolutely crushed every single minute of screen time that they were on, in my opinion, nobody can touch the, the actors in Black Hawk Down. Ridley Scott did an amazing job. The way he like washes out the colors when he's shooting things with like the really bl uh, bright blues and some of the yellows that he uses, it, it makes you feel like you're there. And the camera shots that they did, it really takes you in there. And I mean, you know, we started off, you know, when we first watched, we're like, oh, I recognize that actor and that actor. And then, you know, once all that's aside, and you're getting that feeling of anxiety. You know these guys are going in. You've got a feeling of what's going to happen. Uh, it was just nonstop chaos after after our, our guys were dropped in. And so, again, literally uh, an all-star cast. I did like how they were able to show an audience a glimpse a glimpse of what it's kind of like to be there I, I i did like how they you know when it comes to like communication on the battlefield everything is straightforward to the point directions are very specific and they did a good job of showing that obviously the realism with everything else uh we did have i guess if you'd call it a little bit of of levity in an otherwise incredibly serious movie with of course uh tom hardy's character and uh, I forget the name of the other actor, but he's been in so much stuff and he's just got a, a face mm -hmm. that you you know immediately. Those two guys did a fantastic job. And again, just a, an incredible story. And Ridley Scott and Hans Zimmer uh, absolutely delivered. The, uh, the person who wrote the novel, Dave, is that on there? I want to give him credit, uh, who it originally uh, was, was based off of. Uh, Ken Nolan did the oh, screenplay so. from it. Uh, okay, we had Jerry Bruckheimer involved, as always. You, you know, he does stuff. Yeah, Mark Bowden was the the journalist who wrote it. So, incredible story. I'm going to start stop yapping, but I just felt there were some important things to get out and uh, obviously let these guys take it away. Yeah, uh, the, like the combat was pretty real, you know, real looking and realistic. And, like, what I wanted to know, too, is, like, how close to what their, their communications were, how they said, like, 6-1, 6-4, like, how mm -hmm. realistic that was. I mean, this was... Really well done. Obviously, like you hit the nail right on the head with his colors. With uh, how Ridley Scott does that, he he's very very good at using his color schemes, his lighting schemes. When any movie's done from you know like Blade Runner yep. all the way to yep. this to Gladiator yep. that we just that we had viewed recently, but like you say, the cast was great. But these are a lot of young actors at the mm -hmm. time, yet, so they're just breaking their teeth as we yep. see his first film role. You know, for Tom Hardy and a few of these other guys and Ty Burrell was very was really unknown so was mm -hmm. even Orlando Bloom was just about to ascend to greatness yep. so just everything as a whole and just the realism of it I mean this was we watched the extended version that was two and a half hours long it did not feel like no. that and it kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time and like you said this was something I never heard of I never I never knew this even happened I didn't I mean granted this you know, happened in 93, I was eight years old. I didn't know, really know that much about it, but I did have a cousin that was already in the army, I believe by this time. And so I, I, I don't think he has had anything to do with this, but yeah, he would have been 18 in the army. So mm -hmm. there could have been yeah. you know, a possibility that he could have been one of these people that he could have been put over there. But this was just very well done. Um, and I love that at the end, they, they, uh, 
gave the names of the soul of the fallen soldiers right there in the credits. I thought that was very, very well done, and I I really like that part of it. But uh, yeah, this was very well yeah, done. That's there. all I can say. <laughs> you know, as as reactors, it's it's tough to <clears throat> to watch movies that are true stories or even you know even based on true stories because. Um, as, as we saw in the end credits, which Answer just mentioned, which we knew going into it, there's real people who lost their lives and, and, and real people who were severely injured during this battle. So when we're reacting to it, it's kind of a, a different tone than I think we take with, with anything else. Um, and even, even challenging in our, our review that we're doing right now, because on, on one hand, um, we can speak to... Uh, the the work that Ridley Scott did, uh, the work that the actors did, uh, the way they filmed it, um, the actors' portrayal of the soldiers, and and speak to the, the grittiness of the movie, and kind of, uh, you know, answer brought it up like giving people some sort of insight as to what a battle is like, and and I feel like that's such a, it's such a, an empty thing to say, right? Like what. There is no insight to battle you watch. There is no insight to battle you tell somebody about. You've either been there or you haven't, and none of us have. Um, you know, it's it's so it's it's tough watching this. I, I'll agree that the acting was great. Um, it felt very gritty. Um, it's it's hard to watch this stuff. I mean, it's not the first story. It's not the first battle. It's not the first war where bureaucracy led to a lot of uh, a lot of young men and you know in, in in battles since young men and women losing their lives and it's it's tough to watch that it's tough to watch unprepared uh unprepared battle it's tough to watch it's look it's a difficult discussion about you know how, how much of the world does america police and how much of the world does d wants america policing them you know we have followers from all over the globe and you know i mean that's you know our our view of these 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 battles and stuff everybody watching in other countries you have to kind of remember our view of these battles is coming from is our media this you know kind of uh, american you know, eccentric you know mindset and stuff like that and so we understand that worldview might not be the same in general and, and certainly not regarding this movie but um you know as, as a movie i think it was done very well again i i briefly you know may have you know, mentioned it earlier i don't know if it'll make the cut that i've seen a few podcasts with guys talking about this and there was definitely some dramatization some inaccuracies uh that um that's recognized if you go do research on it you look on wikipedia or you google like you know uh, well, you know, uh, you know how story. accurate how accurate it was you'll you'll see that there was things that were accurate things that weren't um but of course look that's hollywood it's never going to be uh you know a, a regular depiction and how could you make it like that right like you'd have to get everybody sitting down telling their story um, there's no way you could make a, a fully accurate story. Um, could it have been more accurate from what I've seen um, people discussing? Yes. Um, so I, I don't want to over speak on, on all that because I haven't, you know, you know, gotten too deep into watching the soldiers, you know, talk about that. So, you know, just as, as normal people, you hate to be like, well, this was this and have somebody who was there or you know somebody who knew somebody was there you know kind of call you out on it so i'll say that it was a well done movie um it showed the, the the bravery of the young men that were there their um you know their their you know, their, their fortitude did not leave people behind i mean it's just you know the guy's mindset of going back out the guys who had you know you got back and you know they were just like let me go back out so um, it was a, a great movie and uh, a sad story, but it was, like so many other battles, a, a story of, of bravery and courage. Yeah, you know, I was, I think I said it during the cut, or maybe it might be in the cut, I'm not sure, but and Mason Quinn kind of said it again. Uh, I feel like Ridley Scott did a pretty good job of making sure he took the audience and kind of placed them next to whoever was on you know sized up for the camera there mm -hmm. 
I felt like half the time I was there, it was uh, the the intensity, the anticipation, the you know uh, the concern that you have, uh, you know all the emotions that are just running through because these are some intense moments, and you know and almost like in everything, anything for entertainment, right? Uh, Obviously, this is somewhat of a true story, right? But for entertainment purposes of the film, TV, you're always trying to anticipate what's coming next. So seeing some of that stuff like, like the ricochets and, you know, Tom Sizemore just basically just brushing some of that off, like whatever. Yeah, after he's been through it. Yeah, I mean, that, that was uh, some of this stuff was just, uh, you know, just wild. And yet, Andrew, the, uh, the, the cast, mm -hmm. good Lord, th this cast, uh, you know, speaking of today, obviously when it came out in 2001 probably a different story but seeing the cast now wow to me that was a, a pretty it's like a who's who yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a stacked roster that's, that's and you, what we kept you, on doing is just looking yeah you you take a movie that has the, and granted you had a lot of actors because of the nature of the film mm -hmm. with the soldiers you'd be hard pressed to find any movie where you know fast forward a handful of years that many people yeah. were that big i mean find me a movie that has that many stars in it even yeah, because even when they were young yeah uh, with the casting i always i always am very critical of casting in that i want my characters to be definitively different so that i don't have to think about who's on stage or who's you know who's in a shot and they did a tremendous job with that with casting guys who you could immediately tell okay that's him that's I, him I, that's him i you am know? i do find it interesting that they casted tom sizemore in this because of the the major role that he played in saving private mm -hmm. ryan um so that was interesting to me um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a different war movie and if somebody shines in one, they might shine in another, but he was such a pivotal character in, in Saving Private Ryan that, um, that, that was interesting. But yeah, the cast, I didn't mean to cut you off, Dave, there, but the cast was like, was, was like, oh, wow. Yeah, with the, uh, Academy Award, I see it up here, uh, for best film and editing, uh, and best sound. Best hey, the sound. editing, yeah. before I get to the sound, because I feel like we are... I should do a better job of talking about more sound because by the time it gets to me, they covered quite a bit. But I will say the uh, the editing—that's <laughs> a fair point. Uh, the editing uh, was pretty well done, at least in my eyes, because like I said, it, they did a good job of Ridley telling you know making you feel that you're there. Some of the cutscenes, I was kind of like wondering, you know, maybe it could have been different. But hey, I'm not in Hollywood, so disregard my comment on that, of course. Uh, but with the sound, here we go, Hans Zimmer, right? I mean. Mm -hmm. I was actually intrigued to see the kind of product that he put into this because I'm basically from Dark Knight on, and that's where I kind of caught on to Hans Zimmer and what he's done. Yeah, I mean, some of the films prior to Dark Knight, you know, I'm like Pirates of the Caribbean, it was still good, but it's not something I always go back to and listen to. I, I guess I'm more of, uh, you know, where his somber stuff is, which is Dark Knight, uh, the intense stuff like the Inception. You know, stuff like that. But hey, in this, I was actually intrigued to see, like, I guess I wasn't expecting Hans Zimmer to have that kind of sound for this film. I thought for sure we would have been getting some of that somberness, uh, you know, but he had a couple scores in here where it was pretty intense. The soundtrack itself, I thought the soundtrack was awesome. I mean, we got a little Stevie Ray Vaughan. Mm -hmm. Got awesome a little pain. STP. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's some other ones that I think you guys just said right there, but yep. I thought, uh, again, this film was, uh, I was more invested in this film than I was Hacksaw Ridge, and I was still invested in Hacksaw. I, this one just hit me differently emotionally, uh, just kind of seeing how everything got placed up, especially with the, the helicopter scene where, they, you know, they're bringing out the bodies. That, that one really kind of hit, because mm -hmm. I was just, wow, that's... Yeah, well, and so often we think of these big, you know, the military might of these helicopters and their Blackhawk helicopters. They have all this technology and all this tech. I mean, you think of them as almost being invincible, right? But, you know, a couple of guys with an RPG taking out a rotor, I mean, that's that's, that's all it, it takes. That's all it takes. That's, that's, that's all it takes. Well, I, I liked how they did the uh, the screen with their watching where everybody was and how it was still the 93 technology. So right. it's like, like he even said, he's like, 
I, I can't tell you all apart in the, I need a strobe, the strobe up there. And so then finally got the strobe, but they, 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 they yeah, and he, finally mm -hmm. go after the enemy. Yeah. I mean, and Tom Hardy and company being lost in the city, whereas now they would have cell phones that would have, you know, satellite sat navigation some sort of yeah. sat, to at yeah. least say where they are. I don't, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the tech today and none of us are, I think, overly familiar with the type of military tech they would have in battle today. But I think it's safe to say that it's significantly mm -hmm. more advanced, but I mean, the, the same type of the, the same time of scenarios you know play out where you can have X amount of soldiers with X amount of you know vehicles and, and helicopters and things like that but when you have thousands upon thousands yep. upon thousands of people even just with base you know base rifles it's it's a, especially when they're just everywhere too. yeah I mean neat. that was that was and I think that was a big part of you know, like the anxiety of this film, you know, it was almost claustrophobic. It, it was, it wasn't, but yeah. that, I mean, that's, that's, you know, representative of the type of, mm -hmm. of fighting they had to do. You know, Dave brought a Hacksaw Ridge and Hacksaw Ridge is like, here's our guys on your side and your guys on that side. Granted there was night attacks and, you know, things like that. But I mean, it was, you know, the tunnels that, that the mountain. Japanese had, but at the same time, it was just drastically different. You don't know who's civilians, who's, mm -hmm. you know, um, <clears throat> who's you know combatants and uh a, just a totally different type of battle than than the traditional world war ii battle that we're used to seeing yeah. um I, I i don't know about you guys. yeah so no no scoring yeah, for me on this yeah, one just because yeah. the 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 uh the true, true events right. of it, yeah. I don't yeah, we think. We usually don't score stuff yeah. that's based yeah. on true events. So no, yeah, no, no review for me. I, I'll just say, if you want to see it, definitely see it. It's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. I think <laughs> that's fair. Look, it's it's a great movie, and and it's it's been a very limited number of times where we've watched films and not done scores. But being that it's you know based on a true story, and there was young men who lost their lives out of respect for them, out of respect for their families, and just everybody who serves across the world. It's as, as reactors, it's not, it's, it, it's it just, it doesn't need to be done. So thank you, thank you. Yeah. But, um, but I'll agree, a great movie, something that I, I would highly recommend other people see. It's, it's one of those movies that you really see once, and once, yeah. once you've seen it, it's like, um, you're, you're, you know, you're kind of good. But God, glad Absolutely. I watched it. So once again, yeah. thanks to all that served and well done. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>